Welcome to our list of the 15 best things to do in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is one of the world's most famous and renowned cities. Being the dream vacation spot for many, the city needs no introduction. We are all well aware of its glamorous lifestyle, relaxing beaches, and leading film and fine art institutions. Los Angeles has it all, whether you want to immerse yourself in a high-class fine arts culture, relax on the beach, take a trip around the studios where your favorite films have been made, or just indulge yourself in some of the world's best food cuisines, Los Angeles is the place for you. However, with the endless options the city has to offer, it can be daunting picking the right spots and sites for your vacation, especially if you have a cramped schedule, so we have made it easier for you. Here are the 15 best tourist attractions in Los Angeles that you can't miss out on. Number 15. The Hollywood Sign how could anyone visit Los Angeles and not visit the legendary Hollywood sign? Made in 1923 and originally titled Hollywood Land, the name changed to Hollywood in 1949. The sign was only supposed to last for 18 months, but with the coming of the golden age of Hollywood, that all changed and the sign has remained ever since. You can admire the sign from across the canyon at Lake Hollywood Park or get a close-up look by hiking at Griffith Park. Number 14. Griffith Park this large municipal park has so much to offer for nature and sports lovers. The park was a Christmas gift to Los Angeles from Irish mining mogul Griffith J. Griffith in 1896. It has 4,000 acres and is one of the largest urban parks in the United States. The park includes a chunk of Santa Monica Mountains, two public golf courses, the Los Angeles Zoo, trails for walking and horseback riding, tennis courts, and train rides and pony rides for children, along with many concession stands and picnic grounds. If you are someone who enjoys a good hike, you can reach the Hollywood sign at the park's boundaries, and from above, you can also observe the outstanding 360-degree view of Hollywood and Burbank. Number 13, Griffith Observatory. In 1912, as a second Christmas present, Griffith J. Griffith arranged funds for the Greek Theater and Griffith Observatory that were completed in 1935. With its beautiful and magical architecture, the three-domed Art Deco building holds a special place as one of LA's stunning monuments. The observatory is located on the south of Mount Hollywood at Griffith Park. You can admire one of the most gorgeous views of the city from its terraces. Or if you are a space lover, there are daily sky viewings and a large telescope. There are also many monthly exhibits, galleries, and a planetarium for you to enjoy. Number 12, Los Angeles County Museum. For all of the art lovers out there, the Los Angeles County Museum is one of the best places to spend hours viewing and analyzing paintings, sculptures, photographs, and many more artworks from all around the world. Being the largest art museum on the western side of the United States, it is home to more than 12,000 artworks of various eras and art movements ranging from Greek sculptures to contemporary photography and film installations. Number 11, Venice. The Venice Boardwalk is the second most visited place in Southern California. If there is any neighborhood in the city that symbolizes LA the most, it's Venice. The boardwalk is filled with street vendors, tattoo parlors, international cuisine, cannabis shops, street performers, and even psychics. Venice is the place to go if you want the authentic LA experience. Two signature areas of the neighborhood are the Venice Muscle Beach and the Skate Plaza, where you can lay on the beach or watch professional skaters do their thing. Or if you are into arts and architecture, you can walk around and admire the historic arcade buildings from the 20th century. Number 10, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The popular street commemorating the biggest stars of the industry can get super crowded at times, but if it is your first time in LA, you can't miss out on it. The Walk of Fame was built during 1958, and since then there have been 2,600 stars made of brass and terrazzo to honor the biggest industry stars of our time. So far there are stars honoring musicians, actors, directors, musical and theatrical groups, and even fictional characters. Around 24 new stars are added every year, and it is mandatory that the stars attend the ceremony. Who knows, you might run into your favorite stars being commemorated during your visit. Number 9. Universal Studios Hollywood Universal Studios Hollywood started providing tours for its fans in 1964, and after that they decided to construct a theme park that now includes rides and attractions based on your favorite movies, such as Harry Potter, The Transformers, Revenge of the Mummy, and much more. There are so many different things you could do in Universal Studios that you would need to pick the activities ahead of time so you don't waste your visit wandering around. 
Number 8. Pacific Park the only amusement park in the entire West Coast that is on a pier, Pacific Park is a free entry site, but you are required to pay for the different individual attractions and the 12 rides that it has to offer. The theme park was first opened in 1910, and in 1990 it was revived back with many movies and TV shows shooting in the area, like Stephen King's 1941 film, and it was even recreated in remarkable detail in the GTA V video game in 2013. Number 7. Rodeo Drive The luxury two-mile-long street is filled with high-end shops with brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Cartier and is jammed with expensive cars such as Ferraris and Bugattis. Rodeo Drive's first luxury boutique opened in 1967 with Giorgio Beverly Hills and ever since then it has kept growing into more affluent and glamorous shops. In 2003, it went through a huge multi-million dollar makeover with the Rodeo Drive Walk of Style. Most of us can't afford what Rodeo Drive offers, but just walking down the street among the palm trees and appreciating the architecture of the shops and cafes is enough of an experience. Number 6. Live Comedy it is no surprise that the world's film and television capital is also home to some of the best comedy shows and communities out there. The Live Comedy Society of LA includes stand-up, skits, performances, and live recordings of podcasts and shows. Some of the best venues are the Comedy Store, Hollywood Improv Comedy Club, and The Laugh Factory. So don't miss out on the chance to witness some of your favorite comedians and writers in action. Number 5. Runyon Canyon Park this 160-acre park is the ideal place for a hike with its beautiful nature and magnificent views. You can have one of the best hikes or even capture the most stunning Instagram-worthy pictures. Located at the eastern end of the Santa Monica Mountains, the park has three different trails with variety levels of difficulty for anyone to be able to enjoy. The Hero Trail is the most difficult, the Star Trail is rated medium, and the easiest one is Runyon Canyon Road. At the top of Runyon Canyon Road, it looks out to Cloud Rest and the Hollywood Sign. Number 4. Zuma Beach Located at the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu, Zuma Beach is known and loved for its long, wide, soft sands. The waters of the beach are ranked as one of the cleanest and healthiest among the state, attracting many tourists and body surfers to rest laying on its sands and to play in its waters. If you are in Los Angeles between January and April, you can visit the beach to watch gray whales migrate from Baja, California to the Bering Strait. Number 3. Los Angeles City Hall a landmark and a big part of LA's rich history, the first Los Angeles City Hall was constructed in 1928. Since 1940, an image of City Hall has been embroidered and used on all of the Los Angeles Police Department badges. The building has a gorgeous design that is a mixture of both neoclassical and art deco architecture, and Monday through Friday you can visit it to watch the Los Angeles skyline from the last floor. Number 2. The Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County the largest natural history museum in the western United States was founded in 1913. The museum covers around 4.5 billion years of history and has collections of 35 million specimens and artifacts. The museum has three different locations. The first one built was the Bow Art Structure Building in Exposition Park that is completely captivating with its terracotta molding and colonnaded rotunda. And rounding out the list of 15, at the top of our list, number one, Pacific Coast Highway. Famous for having one of the most beautiful scenic drives in the world, the Pacific Coast Highway starts at California's northern border with Oregon and extends all the way down to San Diego. The highway has a total of 656 miles in distance and it takes approximately 10 hours to fully complete it with no stops. During the long drive, you will pass by breathtaking coastal views, magnificent forest, and seaside villages. Los Angeles is one of those cities that has it all. There is literally a place for you to enjoy no matter what you like and want to do. From its parks, mountains, beaches, architecture, film industry, and red carpet stars trademarks, everyone should visit Los Angeles at least once in their life and experience the LA lifestyle. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below what cities you would like to visit in the future. And like and subscribe for more videos. We will see you next time.